Hello, hello. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a reading for the collective. My name is Harley and this is 13 Signs Tarot. I want to thank you guys for coming back. My villain tribe. That's why I started calling you guys the villains. Thank, shout out to whoever came up with that. Somebody called themselves the villains because I couldn't think of like a name to call my tribe. And I don't know. I love the villains. Nothing else like sticks out to me the way that this does right now. So that's where we're going with it. All right. So that's y'all community name. Anyway, so let's see what the collective message is for today. I am no longer dating my videos. I'm just going to let the energy come out the way they are because I think that a lot of people watch these after the time and they're like, oh, it doesn't resonate because it's not the right date. But I just want the energies to flow. So we're going to stop putting dates on these. And these are just going to be timeless readings for the collective. So let's see what energies want to come out today. I've been getting career so far and love. So we'll pick out whatever comes through for the collective. Take what's yours, leave what isn't. Okay. If you need a personal reading to make sure that it's more geared towards you, there are options below. Very affordable options that you can check out, all right? And also, if you would like to get some of my products, okay, wow, Nine of Pentacles. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen how this just flew out? Um, if you would like to get some of my products, you can also check that out in the description box. All right. So what stood out to me first is Broken Heart in Reverse. So Three of Swords in Reverse, feeling better about a situation. We have strategy and we also have balance. Okay, so uh, this could definitely go with your career as well. If you've had some, if you've had some um, setbacks with your career or things that have just not gone the way that you want them to go, especially if you're in the creative arts with this uh, solar plexus third chakra card. Uh, just know that you just need to write down what you want. For a lot of you, this has to do with actually writing a plan and being more precise and intentional about how you're going about this goal. Okay, so spirit really, 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 really is pushing that you, a lot of you guys need a journal. And it's so interesting because I just joined a group that I'm trying to, you know, learn from. And the leader of the group is so adamant about journaling. And it's so funny because I was like, yeah, you know, I started my journal a little bit, but I have like kind of been BSing on it. And I never, I've had this deck since I started doing tarot. I've had this deck for five years. I have never noticed that that says journaling right there. Like, if you guys noticed, I kind of paused before I started talking. And I was like, that does not say journaling. It does. <laughs> oh, my God. And I was telling my son the other day about how my, my little brother used to read my journal and, like, threaten to tell my mom the things that he read in my journal. But my mom would, like, never listen to him. She just, like, she just felt like my journal was private. So I've journaling has been coming up a lot for me lately. So if it has been coming up for you or if you haven't thought about it, you really should think about journaling. I used to journal so much when I was a child and I never really thought it was so important and you know keep that habit if you do it but just make sure you keep your stuff private and you know keep it where people can't get to it but I see journaling and writing things down as a very big um, solution to any issue that you are facing right now. Okay, It will help bring a lot of balance into your life and I feel like you're going to see the results that you want. I think this is actually what spirits intention is is to get you to be more intentional and more uh, future oriented a lot of you guys can be pessimistic or you get stuck in the moment too much and it's okay to live in the moment but spirit also wants you to be more intentional or, or at least reflect because journaling does um you know it causes you to reflect right so writing things down writing out plans i also see messages coming in from someone who wants to reconcile could be an air sign i'm definitely getting all the air signs here aquarius libra gemini also have leo yeah definitely we have the judgment and the page of pentacles so uh there's definitely someone trying to reconcile someone who wants to put in effort to make things right with you okay getting air sign i also have scorpio and capricorn here all right um also, for a lot of you, you are due for some positive news with your finances. You are due to hear some good news about money, especially if you feel like money's tight right now. So again, writing down what you want. Spirit is saying we need you to, to tell us exactly what you want because you don't have a clear... Like, I don't think a lot of you understand how important it is to like be specific and again this reflects on me too. I've literally wrote down things and I've gotten exactly what I wanted 
So I can attest to how important it is to writing things down. Some of you guys may need to get into calendar work. I see petitions here, like this um, scroll is is making me think of a petition. So who do if you're into that calendar work? We have the five of cups here. Yeah, there's somebody who's in their feelings. This could go either way. I'm definitely getting upsets and disappointments in career. I'm definitely getting someone who is thinking you are the shit. That nine of pentacles was ready to jump out earlier. And here it is again, showing itself a lot. So there is somebody who feels like you are the shit. They think you're so smart. Every time I get this card, I think of Jean Grey on um, X-Men. I think of the Phoenix. Even though I'm pretty sure that's not a phoenix. But it just makes me think of that. And it makes me think of how smart this person thinks you are. And how talented. Like how Cyclops loved Jean Grey. How Cyclops loved Phoenix. But she was in love with like Logan. It's very weird right. And I know that's not cool. But it kind of just gives me that image of like how. I mean who wasn't in love with fucking Phoenix. You know she's the shit. You know but that's what I'm getting. Like the phoenix rising out of the ashes. Like I think this person loves that about you. Your resilience. How you can keep going no matter what. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, very resilient. Very resilient. Some of you guys are like either you have, you have red hair right now or you're naturally red. Like red haired. I don't know why I keep getting that. But it just makes me think of like headstrong energy, right? So we have the Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands. Yeah. There's something. Someone desperately wants the Four of Wands with you. Someone desperately wants to live together, get married. And I also see you guys desperately want a career goal, a financial goal. Some of you guys desperately want to be able to take a trip. It's so crazy because it's like through all this worrying, something is still manifesting the Three of Wands. Through all this worrying, Nine of Swords, Three of Wands, there's still manifestations coming in even though you're worried about it. or Even if this person is worried about you two getting back together. This is all a part of the plan is what this is saying. What's the Three of Swords in Reverse about, Spirit? What is this Three of Swords in Reverse about? The Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been through it. <laughs> Look at that. What's that, guys? The Four of Freaking Wands in my wrestling voice, my WWE voice. The Four of Freaking Wands. I told you guys, all right, it's coming. Some of you guys want to buy a home. You want the perfect home. You want you want success. And a lot of you guys, you both want this. Both people are wanting success and the relationship. So you guys are both maybe very goal-oriented. Some of you guys want a child. This person wants a child, whoever I'm reading for. If you want to, like a Capricorn or Scorpio, Aries, maybe a Gemini. Somebody wants a child, a little girl. Okay, so let's clarify the Five of Cups. I feel like y'all are about to have both, success and a relationship. The Ten of Cups, yes, yes. Somebody's been dreaming about this, you both. This, this, this is like so tied in. This is so tied into each other. Like it can go either way, either way. Disappointments behind happiness and career and love. But it's like all these disappointments are a part of the plan. I wonder if this Nine of Wands, let me see what this Nine of Wands is trying to say. What is this Nine of Wands trying to say? The Seven of Pentacles. Patience. <laughs> this is a lot about patience and the process. The stuff that we hate to hear about. That's what Spirit is talking about right now. Patience and process. And, and this is teaching you you can't force things. A lot of you guys are like forcing things. Queen of Swords. It's like trying to force things. Trying to spearhead things. Trying to, you know, use use your force. But it's like the, the Seven of Pentacles was saying it was already happening this whole time. It was already sprouting this whole time. But you were just feeling like it wasn't, it wasn't happening at the right time. And that caused you a lot of pain. A lot of unnecessary pain is what this is saying. And it's even causing love, like it could have turned you cold for love, but it's like you were trying to force love with relationships that weren't for you or with people that weren't for you. Or this with this person, this person wasn't ready, like trying to force this person when it wasn't time. Contract, the at Angel of Balance makes you feel like contract. The Knight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles wanted to come out again. Eight of Swords, yeah, trying to rush. Something here about slowing down. Hermit, Six of Cups, learning from the past. Like learning from your, like this is talking about maturity. Like for a lot of you, 
putting away childish things on both sides. This is mirroring each other. So when I'm talking about you, I'm also talking about your person. Because whoever we're, we're channeling here, they're on the same, same, the same exact journey as you in their own way. But yours is more maybe career and life purpose related, trying to force goals, but also trying to force relationships. Because this person was a part of the thing you couldn't control. They were a part of the process that you couldn't force or push. I feel like they've tried to rush things in their own way as well or trying to control things a little too much with the Page of Pentacles. This person wasn't open to learn. They weren't open to the new. So that was another thing. You were open to learn. You were open to the new, but you were like ugh, trying to force things before they were ready. Things have to put Taurus energy, Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys have Taurus rising. You could have Gemini rising in Western astrology. Okay, or you have Gemini placements in Western astrology that could be Taurus placements since I dare you, you have a karma around learning how to slow down and, and let roots grow. Because it's like something about your childhood, your upbringing was very unstable for a lot of you. Like maybe you moved around a lot. There was some sort of instability that did not allow you to develop patience. So there is someone that's here from your past that I feel like you're going to be in a relationship with. You wrote this person off because it didn't happen within the time that you wanted. That caused a lot of pain in the relationship as well um, because this person wasn't ready. That's your side of it. This person, of course, wasn't open to new. They weren't open to learning new things. Um, this person did their fair share of messing the relationship up as well in their own way. Some of you, they may have a third party. That could be, you know, a part of it. Um... But when it comes to your career, this is also showing through as well. So things are going to happen the way that they're supposed to. It's already the angels. This goes back to Kemet. This goes back to long, long, long ago. This was already contracted. Surprise contract didn't come out. But yeah. So make sure you guys are starting to journal. Because journaling, again, or writing for the future, it kind of implies that you have patience. You're willing to let it come into fruition. All right, or journal about whatever is bothering you too, so you can get it out of your head and onto paper, and you can move on from it. All right, this is a very intense reading. I don't think a lot of people are going to be able to get through this. This is very for high vibrational spirits who are ready to come into union and also experience your um, true legacy. So this is a really good energy. I love it. I hope that it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.